Oh, y'all, my back is still hurting, and I just want to thank the people who, who gave me some well wishes. Um, you know, we live in a time to where if you disagree with somebody, people unsubscribe, and, you know, and people just, they want to throw hate at you. They're hypocr hypocritical, and for those that wish me bad and say good, karma's going to get your ass, whatever. Secondly, I just also want to say is I know there's a business model here in media now. It's like either you are full left or full right. And I don't belong to anything. I'm the trend. I'm the source. A lot of people keep calling me wishy-washy because, you know, my videos in the past has been um, bashing Meghan McCain. Well, my perspectives have changed. People do grow. There's uh, Whoopi talking on The View podcast about how she evolved. I mean, years ago, she was talking about um, people aren't racist. It's just ignorant. And now she's on this racism train again. So people minds change. People grow. And so, you know, just me seeing the hypocrisy from the left just kind of just made me just wanted to leave that. And so um, people are just so fixated on this girl, Megan McCain, literally one tweet on Twitter made the girl number one in trending. She might as well be an artist or something like all these other artists can't sing. So she might as well just jump on the train and sell some damn records because the girl could trend with one damn tweet. And that's powerful. Hi, welcome to JLA. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe and click the bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe and click the bell. And you share this video to your friends and your family. Thank you so much. It's literally Meghan McCain, <clears throat> she just made liberals pissed off. She pissed off the liberals. And one thing about liberals is that when with her, whenever she sends out a tweet, what liberals do is they, they put out a tweet that she... Um, Supposedly said years ago about her um, neighborhood being on fire and an actress by the name is uh, uh, by the name of Kristen Barlett saying, Megan, we live in the same neighborhood. Everything is fine. A lot of liberals use that or they use the time when Whoopi tell her girl, please stop talking. Please stop it now. They never stick to the script at all. Um, so basically what occurred was some liberal or, you know, some criminal. Um set the Fox News tree on uh, on fire. I didn't even know they had a Christmas tree. Apparently this has been going on for the, for three years now. Um, and so, <sighs> Megan just pissed people off. She just, she's, this is this is what the tweet that pissed off liberals up. Like, so snowflakey people, very snowflakey. I don't want to hear anything about how radical some of you believe Republicans to be when there are lunatics running around New York City setting Fox News Christmas Christmas trees on fire. And look how this liberal snowflake thought he can, you know, mess around with Meghan McCain and not have a, re a reply. He wrote, hi, Meghan McCain. I grew up in Manhattan in the 1970s. You live in a paradise. Now, mind you, this man is a former advisor um, to the uh, to to president. Well, at the time, Vice President uh, Joe Biden, he was vice president. And so, baby, when I tell you Meghan McCain read his ass for filth, she read his ass for filth. And then he went on Twitter and, and saying, I was being nice to you, Megan. Um, I was being nice. This is what this clown said. Um, he wrote. <laughs> he started adding Twitter. Because he felt like her, her her comments back to him was 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 bad. And I'm just like, dude, you basically, you know, tweeted her maybe not thinking that she would reply to you or see your tweet. But baby, she got you together, dog. She got you together. Like she got him together. You know, Meg McCain know how to read. Uh, she was like, you made fun of me. Wait, hold on. They're going back and forth, actually. So he goes, so he goes, hi, Twitter. Is this kind of behavior okay on your platform? Then she goes, have people tweet they want to murder me like every three seconds on here. Um, and then, okay, so they're going back and forth. Then he goes, I would never condone that. And I'm happy that, and I'm sorry that it happens. I'm not sure why you think it means it's okay for you to become insulting and abuse. Boy, shut the hell up. You done, you know, tweet a girl bashing her then you took that bag playing victim act like you ain't bash the chick like i can't deal with liberals I, I i can't deal with snowflakes i can't i can't so they're going back and forth on twitter megan says you made fun of me for being horrified by a christmas tree being burned down outside of fox news there's never any place for abuse and insults but liberal men really really love starting shit with me 
just like you did this morning. So please. So Megan McCain got his ass together. Okay. And everybody's making a big deal about this um, tree uh, being messed up. But this guy, John B. Wolfstall, his, I mean, his name sounds liberal. Um, he is such a liberal. Like, <laughs> I'm about to tweet his ass. You're such a snowflake liberal. Wait, hold on. You mean not tweet him on? Give me, give me tweet him real quick. Oh, let me tweet him. Like, this dude is such a snowflake liberal. Like, come on now. Like, how you going to bash the woman and then play victim afterwards? You are such a snowflake liberal. Like, come on, y'all. Like, <sighs> I don't understand why people are calling her a victim when literally when she responds to them, then they go, oh, you attack me, you attack me, you attack me, you attack me. So apparently, y'all, uh, clearly I came on this video unprepared. Um, so apparently Fox News, they sent out a statement and they basically said, dear colleagues, earlier this morning, Fox News Media, All American Christmas Tree, outside our building on Fox Square was set on fire in a malicious arson attack. The 50-foot tree, which was just lit in a beautiful on-air ceremony on Sunday night, was engulfed in flames and smoke permitted the building. There were no injuries, and thankfully all employees working inside the building remained safe throughout the duration of the fire. We are very grateful to the FD to the Federal New York Department Fire Department which quickly mobilized to extinguish the fire and the NYPD, which apprehended a criminal on site who has since been charged with arson among multiple other crimes. Our security team also did a great job responding to the incident immediately. This has become a very new, though well, this has become a new tradition on Fox Square over the last three years. We will not let this deliberate and brazen act of cowardice Deter us. We are in the process of rebuilding and installing a new tree as a message that there can be peace, light, and joy even during a dark moment like this. We are currently planning on a lighting ceremony for this new tree and we'll send those details once we have them. Thank you, Suzanne. So, anyways, it's the hypocrisy. It's like, you know, y'all calling these Republicans radicals and blah, blah, blah. But yes, you got rioters and looters and this Democrat burning down a damn tree. Fox News um, Square and liberals are so happy about it. You don't see a progress on that? Like, come on now. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please do subscribe and click the bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload.